I made it. <laughs> Looking like Mercedes, yeah. <clears throat> You guys, you guys ever ate here before? <laughs> have, have you? Let me know. Because I'm about to... I'm about to eat me some... Uh, some good old raisin canes, baby! Yeah. So... <clears throat> basically, this is going to be done in one take. Because... Uh, I got I got other things to worry about <clears throat> when it comes to other videos, you know what I mean? I'm working on this big thing for the main channel, so <clears throat> but also here's my thing, hold on. This this sauce right here, this sauce, this sauce right here, we gotta dig into that. <clears throat> My fair lady, babe. Hold on. <clears throat> See that? Yeah. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, fuck. <clears throat> I thought I pressed the wrong button, but hold on. I, I, <clears throat> obviously, um, are we... <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, I almost choked on myself. Are we gonna get into spoilers? <clears throat> um, no, we're we're not gonna get into spoilers. But um, this movie was really bad. If you can't tell, <laughs> this movie this movie was really bad. So if you just would allow me a moment, to, uh, hold on, just allow me a moment to get another bite in there. Mm. <clears throat> mm. 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 This movie's so bad. So when when I saw the first trailer, uh, when I saw the first trailer to this movie, I was like, ooh, you know, because it looked good, you know. And then all these controversies. Sorry, all these controversies start happening, right? <clears throat> and I, I was like, oh no, Olivia. And then the <clears throat> first, first the, the Avatar re-release did better. <laughs> it's been 13 years, Olivia. All right. Apparently, she was speaking to Stephen Colbert. I think this is her second... Um, I think this is her second movie ever. Which, <clears throat> alright. Never heard the first one. So that's not good. Don't let me honest with you. <clears throat> this movie... <clears throat> It's a one. You hear me? This I, I need I need you to hear me. All right. Do I have anything on my lips? In my in my gums? Listen to me. This movie is a one. I'm gonna I'm gonna give this movie a one out of ten. <clears throat> there's there's some kind of m mystery in this movie, right? You, you have these like Stafford wife people. It's like it's like Mad Men, the nineteen twenties, right? And there's this mystery. It's like there's this town, and Florence Pugh's the main character, and there's this project called the Victory Project, and it, and the story is very Bob Lazar, area Area Fifty One ish style secrecy is going on, right? <clears throat> But unfortunately, and it's like, goddamn, this this is the type of shit. This is the type of shit that I'm interested in. You know, what what are what are the husbands really up to? You know, 
what what are these pro progressive materials? Is it UFOs? Is it some kind of new age weapons? And then and then so the mystery is good. The trailer was good. Florence Pugh is amazing, but in fairness, she's always amazing. This movie is so bad. This movie is is it's almost as if if you took Vanilla Sky and you watched Miss Summer way too many times. <laughs> and if you took Black Swan and maybe some hints of Memento, <laughs> you gotta just like shut that all, shut that all up and just spat it back out. It, it almost feels like a in an AI system wrote this movie. That's how bad this movie is. If you if you included Vanilla Sky in there as well, also, but I I love Vanilla Sky. So this is, uh, oh Lord have mercy, this is like a really bad version of that movie. But um, there's there's a there, I can see some influence from Lost. Hold on, I'm gonna open up this door. I was trying to keep it closed because you know. I want the, the the sound to be clean, but we're gonna, we're gonna leave that open for a second because it's hot. Let me get another bite in. All right. <clears throat> oh yeah. <clears throat> you know what's funny? Florence Pugh. When this movie when this movie ended, I was just like, okay, so so what? Who gives a fuck? Are you serious? This 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 is like a, a bad M. Night Shyamalan movie on steroids. Because it looks good. Florence is really good. And like everything else is hilariously bad. This movie has Florence Pugh losing her mind the whole movie. Like hallucinating and shit. And like <laughs> you don't know why. Florence Pugh is just awkwardly hallucinating during this whole movie, right? Um. Let me get that in there. <clears throat> and then Chris Pine. And then, listen, I like Chris Pro I like Chris Pine. Pine? I like Chris Pine. But, he, he was, he was not a good enough actor to sell these lines or this, or this role. I mean, but the first time that he speaks, it's like this huge monologue, and the movie in the movie is poorly written. So, you, and he's not a strong enough actor for the kind of delivery these lines need. And like, I'm just like, oh no, oh no, this is so awkward. This movie is so awkward. This movie is trying so hard to be trippy. And and thought provo and thought provoking. Uh, what the hell was she thinking with that black character? Like the only the only significant black character in the whole fucking movie. Why did you treat her like that? And why 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 did you plagiarize the scene from Midsummer? How did that How did that happen? How did that happen? How how could that happen? I this movie this movie was so bad. <clears throat> in the middle of it I, I almost started tweeting and texting about it I, I, I fell asleep a couple times I, I had to take a piss during this movie I just blatantly went and did it we, are we still recording? I just blatantly went and did it right? So, as soon as this movie ended I was like bet <laughs> I'm, the, I'm, just, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna eat some uh, some, some quick some quick dinner here and chop this movie up real quick. <laughs> Bruh. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh my god. Bro. There's a plot twist in this movie that, listen, if, if you like this movie, alright, fine. Because the movie, it tries really hard to be dream like david lynch like and in your face with psychedelic imagery and it's like look how look how cool i am but it's like you're not what why why is olivia wilde in this movie does anyone know 
When when I thought about this movie in hindsight, I was like, what was the purpose of Olivia adding herself into the movie? Because her being in the movie is exponentially more cringe when you think about these real life controversies surrounding this move <laughs> this movie. Uh I was like, why did she put herself in this movie? I mean, that's so weird. No one else could have done her role. Okay. And and then they were going... It's like, what the fuck? There were moments where it's like, they were going in a good direction with this Project Victory thing. I was like, I'm really curious what this is. Is it like UFOs or something? And then the explanation that they give us, dog, I swear to God, this is like... The village, M. Night Shyamalan slash the happening levels of stupidity here. Um, when it comes to explanations inside of this movie. The only thing <clears throat> that I liked about this movie was Florence Pugh. And there's a moment um, during like the last five, ten minutes or something like that. <laughs> where where it's like it's like Nick Kroll and he's like shouting and he's like ah, ah, I think he's like shouting about Alice or something like that or something like that and there's a moment where he's like screaming and like you can see like like just like this mist of of of, of spit coming out of his mouth because it's highlighted by the sun, by the sunlight and I laughed I laughed at this moment for at least three minutes straight uncontrollably because the the whole the whole movie, like this moment, this whole movie feels out of context. This whole movie, it's funny that Florence Pugh is all like madness and she's crazy and she's like losing her mind because this movie feels, it just feels lost. It feels just as lost and convoluted as this bitch's mind in this movie, Florence Pugh's, her character. Oh, the audacity. <clears throat> um, is there anything else I want to say about this, sh this shitty fucking movie? I mean, 1 out of 10, please don't go watch it. I can't believe the Avatar made more money. Don't, don't go watch this movie. Keep away from it, alright? I don't know what the fuck is going on down there at WB, but fuck them, okay? Fuck them, okay? I literally tweeted, I'm not gonna fucking go see Black Adam, cocksucker. I'm not gonna go see Black Adam. Suck my fucking dog. Suck my fucking big fucking cock. I'm not seeing Black Adam. You hear me? I'm not doing it. We're done. Oh, piece of shit ass movie. Fuck, fuck them all, dog. <clears throat> fuck them. Right in the ass. Oh yeah, one other thing that I forgot to mention. What, what's what's that dude's name? Henry? Harry? Harry Styles? Harry Harry was terrible in here. The only thing that he did was get extremely angry and and just and just make out with with, with Florence Pugh. Um, that that was essentially was his entire role. In this whole movie. Uh, because the, the the lines of dialogue were so forgettable that he, in, in piss poor that yeah, yeah. But also, what what why I I did not understand that extended sequence <laughs> of Harry eating out Florence Pugh. What wh why what what was what was the point of the heavy emphasis like the 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 way that the camera lingered. On this moment of Harry eating Florence Pugh's pussy, okay? Why the heavy emphasis, uh, Olivia? 